Hello, YouTube. How are we doing today? What's going on, everybody? Hello and welcome back to The Last of Us, part one on PC for the first time in history now. Uh, we're pretty close to the end of this playthrough. I feel like we've got maybe two episodes to go. Uh, we are currently doing the Lakeside Resort bit where uh, we're going to go in and, uh, uh, I guess, introduce ourselves properly to David. Uh, anyway, let's say hello to everyone in the chat. CJ Voorhees, 93, first one in the chat. Good job, sir. Hello. What's up, man? DJ Dynamics, next one in. Hello, hello. What's up? And Jeremy McGee, my brother from another mother. How are you, bud? DJ Garf, 1210. Hey, and James motherfucking Guan. And my brother, Ryan Awesome. What's up, folks? How are you? Welcome in. Welcome in. All right, so I'm excited for this bit. Um, <clears throat> this is one of my favorite parts of the game. It's it's one of those bits where it's intentionally challenging because you're playing as Ellie, and of course, you know, she's not like leveled up like Joel is and everything. Um, she has similar gear and similar tactics, but it's not quite the same. Uh, so this this bit's always challenging. Uh, I dig it, though. And holy shit, Obscured by Ink is in with us now. Hey, Obi, what's going on? Howdy. All right, let me get my uh, mouse out of the way. This is the mouse for this PC that's running The Last of Us. And if I tap it, it does stuff while I'm playing. So let me get that out of the way. And now we're ready to rock and roll. I need to go around. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Get back to Joel. Right, where are we at? What are we doing? Okay. Oh, okay, so we got assholes on the ridge up here. Let's deal with that real quick. Come here. There he is. <laughs> ah, shit, and I still missed. All that lead up, and I still missed. <laughs> Fucking. There we go. Get it, get it. Why are you not getting it? There we go. That's better. Come on, guys. Don't be shy. There we go. I know you're out there. Hey, Kevin V is with us. What's up, Kev? Hello, everybody. The hardest part playing is Ellie. Yeah, yeah, it's some serious stuff here. Yeah, and 8 bit terror is with us. Hey, I didn't accidentally overlook the Blue Wrench name this time. Hey, babe. <laughs> and let's see. Uh, let's see. Ellie doesn't reach her full Joel potential until part two. Yeah, right. The event that you do play The Last of Us on a higher difficulty, you don't have to kill those guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know it's not necessary to kill them. But while you're running down the hill, they're shooting at you the whole time. So I like to eliminate variables. Generally, it's just two headshots. I missed that one headshot, so it cost me three bullets. Generally, it's just the two headshots. Hey, you see her? And you never here. will. Unless I fuck up. <laughs> Yeah, part two, Ellie is fucking brutal. That's right. That is one of the bit. The, one of the things that I loved about The Last of Us Two, man, the combat was pretty fucking exciting in that game. The gameplay was well done. There we go. Two down. What, like two more to go in this wave? 
There's our next victim. I mean, uh, <clears throat> there's the next enemy. There he goes. Okay, over there. Trying to be clever. Here we go. He'll be coming down the hallway any second now, I think. Come up. It's all right, bud. Come on and walk into this obvious kill zone. You know what it is. You know why it's there. Come on and walk right into it. You know you want to. Oh, no, his buddy's going to move up. Which one's coming in first? That one. All right. No, 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 no. Let me see. When is he coming? Come here. Don't lose her. There we go. I think that's the first wave done. And let's catch up with the chat. Hey, everybody. All right. Oh, you're playing part two now, and it's fucking rad. Uh, what difficulty are you on, Obi? Um, is it just like normal difficulty or do you like to play on higher difficulties like CJ? Don't like part two. I mean, I, I wish that the story for part two had been told a little, a little differently. I actually never really noticed this myself until Claire pointed it out. Uh, you know, Claire is a screenwriter and an author. That's what she did, does for a living before she started a YouTube channel. Uh, so writing stories and, and telling stories is what she does. So she explained to me one thing about the writing in The Last of Us 2. It, it would have been a better hook and, and more acceptable to the audience if we had started off by meeting Abby meeting Abby's dad, maybe play as Abby for a while, go through some adventures as Abby for a while. Like, hey, here's this interesting new character that's actually a, a well-written character. I mean, the character has some depth there. You know, I'm not going, I'm not trying to deny that. I think if we had met Abby first and perhaps then become invested in Abby's story and then meet Abby's dad and be like, oh shit, this is the surgeon that Joel killed oh shit that's her dad oh shit that's abby's dad oh mother whoa and at that point we're already invested in abby as a character for whatever reason you know if they manage to sell us that character okay and it hits you know cool we, we're interested in this character now we find out she has a like a a reason for being against joel uh because joel killed her dad man uh, so then it becomes more interesting and you're more more you have a higher chance of being invested in it at that point. But the way the story was told, it's like, who's this Abby bitch and why is she killing Joel? Wait, what the fuck? What? Boom. Done. You know, it's it. it I wish that the story had been told a little differently. Perhaps I would have received the story better uh, if it had been presented a little bit differently. However, with the gameplay. Dude, the gameplay in The Last of Us 2 is fucking excellent. It really is really, it really smooth. It's a lot smoother than this one, actually. Well, I'm, this is uses the same system. But if you're like playing The Last of Us Part 1 remaster, just like the remastered version or whatever, the, the controls are a bit clunky. And the new, the like Part 2 and then The Last of Us Part 1 that's been remade here, the control scheme is better. It's more fluid. It's more intuitive. Uh, so there there were improvements made to the gameplay itself and the gameplay of part two is fucking wild, man. It's rad. Uh, as you know, as said in the chat, it's fucking rad. But anyway, I do wish they had presented the story a little differently. I feel like I would have been more invested in it had it been presented differently. That's my soul box. Let's play some Last of Us, man. Oh, James. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, brother. Yeah. I haven't played Mad Max. Oh, are we talking about Mad Max? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mad Max is a lot of fun. You guys will have fun with that. <laughs> oh, and uh, that's right. Jason Spizak is in uh, Mad Max as well. And I honestly really like the character that he played. He's kind of a loyal sidekick kind of character. I liked the character that he played in that game. He's no schizo. He's, he's, he's a good sidekick. All right. Uh, I thought... This was a great shot, actually, with these fucking corpses lined up out here in the hallway. Oh, wrong button. This is how we do it on PC. Can I get it? Like, can we back it out just enough and bring it down enough? There it is. I wanted to be outside the doorway there with that left edge there. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Now it lines up just right. Check that shit out. That's fucking wicked. Ellie is such a badass. Oh, hey, I need to say hello to the Who Fan 1. Who Fan, welcome in. What's going on? 
All right. That was all of the first wave, so let's move up, see what we got off of them. And, oh, that's what we got off of them. We got a fucking shotgun off of them. Damn, Skippy. All right, and I know a few more spawn in, but I don't actually remember exactly how many. Or when, or where they come from, even. I just know they are coming. Thank you. Do we have contact yet? There it is. Okay, they'll be working their way this direction. This there it is. Yeah, so you'll have to come and investigate where this pile of corpses is. That, that sounds like a wonderful idea. I hope you guys have fun with that. I wish you the best of luck in that endeavor. Fucking assholes. Hang on one sec. Let me catch up with the chat. I see... What are we talking about? Days Gone Calm. Woo! Woo! Yeah, man. Days Gone Calm is coming up in just a few days. It'll be this weekend. Oh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday the 28th. Saturday the 29th. And Sunday the 30th in Denver. We are having a little in real life get together. Uh, I suppose it's a bit last minute, but if anybody's interested, well, shit, come on, man. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, hey, I got another button in here for that shit, don't I? Where's it at? I got another button for it. I thought. Mm, there it is. Did I get it? Did it go in the chat? Yay, I did it right. I didn't fuck it up. All right, so check it out, man. If you are interested, I know it's a bit last minute, but man, if you can get your ass to Denver, come on. Oh, uh, for real. Oh, uh, we got slots open. There's the info right there. 15 bucks to get you a ticket. And it pretty much just like reserves you a spot, lets us know you're really coming kind of thing. All right, man. Oh. Uh, yeah, let's do it. No, I don't want to scan for enemies. I should actually turn that off. I haven't been really using it. I used to ping for loot, uh, but I've done it enough times now that I you, you kind of know where to look. So I should go ahead and turn that off. I never use it to ping for enemies. I just use listen mode. And honestly, even that is cheating a little bit. Oh man, another one down. Nah. Spread out. Nah. None of that. None of those things. Gotcha. Next. <laughs> I love how he's still over there gurgling. <laughs> That's fucking brutal. Oh, mom. Oh, God damn it. Mm hmm. Should definitely come down here and investigate this pile of bodies. Watch yourselves. Another mm -hmm. body over here. Almost there. Come on, let's keep searching. Yeah, keep searching. You said it, buddy. There we are. Did we not get him? Alright then. That's what shotguns are for. Next. Was there really nobody else? I thought there was at least one more in this wave. Because that was only, what, three? Let's see if we can resupply real quick. And I'm not getting any movement. All right, let's go ahead and pull back, regroup, and catch up with the chat. <laughs> I love this massive fucking pile of bodies outside the doorway here. It's great. Oh. All right, what's going on, everybody? <laughs> Ellie would have been knocked the fuck out by that shotgun. <laughs> not necessarily. Uh, if, if someone is holding the weapon properly, you can, you know, a, a very small person can handle... Uh, a 12 gauge pump action shotgun safely, you know, as long as their arms are long enough, I guess. But yeah, yeah, you definitely have to be taught how to handle the weapon safely. 
<laughs> She'd have a sore shoulder the next day for damn sure. <laughs> yeah, shooting 12 gauge at uh, 10 years old. Yeah. <laughs> but, James, the difference is did you have someone teach you how to hold it properly? Or were they just like, hey, here's the shotgun. Woo, boom. Or, you know, did someone, did you actually have someone teaching you how the, to hold the weapon properly to uh, brace for the impact? Makes a difference. Technique matters. You know, it's just one of those things. Pretty much whatever you're doing, technique matters. <laughs> Case in point, <laughs> technique matters, man. God damn, look at that, dude. That's fucking sick. Fucking Ellie. You little badass. I, I wish I could... Tr I can't drop the camera down any lower. Maybe if I back it off... Yeah, that's not quite the shot I want, though. I want to kind of be looking over her shoulder at this pile of bodies here. Can't quite dial it in where I want it. That's pretty close. Yeah, wicked... Taught by the best. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Honestly, I, I uh, haven't been to the firing range in a while. And I kind of miss it. I need to go shooting, man. Assholes. I hear them coming. Yeah, and Ellie's getting her bow ready. She knows what time it is. <laughs> Good kid. Master Psycho. Hello. Hello and welcome. Psychos will likely fit right in. Come on in. Pour yourself a drink. Pull up a chair. Let's play some fucking video games. Mm. Oh, Ryan. Fuck yeah, brother. God damn, it has been a while since we went to the range together. Uh, we went out there, what, we broke in your dad's rifle, didn't we? Uh, bolt action 223. That's a damn fine rifle, man. Ah, that's a nice rifle. And the sight makes the difference, dude. I know your dad had a, or, yeah, your dad put a badass fucking sight on that thing. JX2! Molotovs versus Napalm. Uh, Napalm is a personal favorite. Uh, the napalm molotovs from days gone are just just sweet sweet serenity i love them oh come on guys why are they being so shy they will eventually funnel into this hallway i'm just you know just letting them take their time set themselves up for failure maybe <laughs> eventually <laughs> it's a waiting game you know it's it's a war of attrition or something. I don't know. I'm talking like I know stuff. Oh, yeah. Right, Ryan. We didn't have the ranges right. Uh, the distances correct at the range. We thought the targets we were shooting at was like... Was it... Yeah, we thought the targets were out at 100 yards, but it was actually the 200-yard mark. We're like, dude, that looks that looks further than 100 yards, man. That's got to be longer than 100 yards. Oh, shit, it is. It's the fucking 200-yard mark. Have I ever shot a Desert Eagle? I have not ever fired a Desert Eagle. I, I can say, uh, with full honesty, I was in a pawn shop some years ago, just you know, looking at the guns. You know, they had actually a really nice selection of firearms there. And I uh, saw the Desert Eagle 44 and picked it up. You know, the guy was like, yeah, you can pick it up. You can check it out. I was like, all right, cool. Let's take a look at it. And so I handled a Desert Eagle 44 Magnum. And I can say, in, in all honesty... I'm comfortable admitting that that's too much gun for me. <laughs> I'm man enough to admit that's too much gun for me. I don't need that. That's absurd. <laughs> I'm sure it would be fun to take to the range just for fun. Uh, but I mean, honestly, if I'm buying a firearm, it, it's a tool. It's not a toy. You know, I, I don't buy firearms for fun. I know for a lot of people that's like, wait, what the fuck are you talking about? You don't buy firearms for fun. Well, it's a tool, not a toy, you know. Joe Schmo 0216 
What's up, man? Uh, it looks like we are going to have to push up on these assholes. Um, I was kind of hoping they would all funnel in. But, oh, yeah, I guess the guys way down at the end, they're not going to funnel through us, are they? Let's see. That's cool. Joe, thanks for putting those links in there, man. Appreciate that. Folks, you know what it is. You know why it's there. You know we do this for fun. We do not do it for the money. But the money makes it possible for us to do it. That's the only reason we talk about it all the time. We can't keep doing this without viewer contribution coming in. YouTube ad revenue is nice. Man, it's fucking nice. I'll tell you, man, it puts a smile on my face every time I see that fucking Google check hit my bank account each month. It's nice. It's fun. It's not a lot. It, it's not enough to keep the channel growing without viewer contribution, if I'm being entirely honest. So, yeah, we need it and we appreciate it. Anyway, I'll shut up about that. Just wanted to say thanks. Where's this other dude at? I know there's got to be at least one more guy just kind of roaming down here. I don't want to... <clears throat> I don't want to roll up on him by surprise. See, I see... Okay, here's one uh, over here by the tree and the little barrier there. And then there's one further back. Is it just these two? Because I don't see any other movement uh, in listen mode or uh, by visual contact either. Let me locate this guy. I know there's one roving around right out here. There he is. He's behind the uh, restroom over there. All right. That's actually kind of a cool shot. That wasn't necessarily on purpose, but anyway, let me catch up with the chat. Oh, JX2 asking, what's your favorite pistol in Days Gone? Hey, that's a kick-ass question. I'll leave that to the chat as well, folks. What is your favorite pistol in Days Gone? Now, if I were going to say uh, my favorite pistol, pistol that would include all sidearms i think which would include the smp9 so i realized that's a full auto pistol it's a you know pistol caliber uh machine gun uh submachine gun but um i'd say that's my favorite pistol if i were going to go with just a, an actual what would classically be described as a pistol i would say either the mayor which is a fucking badass revolver that you get end game when you uh when you've actually beat the game and rolled credits on the main story, it unlocks the mayor, uh, which is a lot of fun. I dig that one. And also the the PDW, uh, the personal defense weapon. Uh, the PDW is modeled after the real life FN 57, I believe. Uh, and the FN 57 is probably the finest handgun in the world. I mean, it's just a it's damn near a rifle caliber round. It's a huge fucking projectile. Uh, but really flat shooting with a nice long range on it. Uh, and uh, it's like fucking come stock with like a 20 round magazine or some shit. Uh, and so in the game, the PDW, I believe, is the most accurate pistol in the game um, and also has the highest magazine capacity of any of the single shot because uh, it's not full auto. So it's not like a big magazine, uh, but it's. God, I don't even remember the magazine capacity on it once you get it upgraded, but it's it's fucking sweet. It's it's nice. Uh, so I would say the mayor or the PDW would be my favorite classical what you would classically call a pistol. But really, the best pistol in the game is the SMP nine that you get for killing four hordes. Mm. Yeah, the PDW is the FN five seven. Love that PDW shit. Yeah, uh, ah, we need to say hello to. Ramush, Ramush, hello and welcome in. Hi. PDW means personal defense weapon. Absolutely correct. Yeah, uh, it's good accuracy and range. The Eliminator. Yeah, you're right, right, right. The Eliminator is really accurate as well and does massive fucking damage. Uh, in fact, it's modeled after a Desert Eagle, I believe. Uh, but the only thing I don't like about the Eliminator is the very low ammo capacity. It's it's a max of what, like seven rounds in the magazine. And I'm probably mistaken. I don't run that weapon very often because of the low magazine capacity compared to things like the PDW and the uh, SMP9. 
Uh, I mean, I guess if you compared it to the Mayer, the six shot revolver, that would be a fair comparison uh, because it's a massive round, uh, you know, it's, it's a fucking huge pistol. Uh, anyway. Mm, yeah, Jeremy, that's right. Your P90 shoots the same round. Uh, what is that? A P90S, I believe, is the model we have here in the States. Uh or is it the other way around? Anyway, the P90 uh, shoots the very same round. Yeah, uh, it's very uh, highly accurate. Dude, I remember shooting that uh, P90 uh, and just fucking tearing the middle out of that target with that thing. Such an accurate little accurate round. All right, let's get back to some Last of Us action. While oh, we're sitting here talking guns and stuff. Let's have some funs and stuff. I got nothing over this way. Neither. I believe it is just these two. So if I could get one or both of these guys quietly, like either with like a stealth takedown or something like that, that'd be cool. But if not, you know, whatever, man, it is what it is. I'll take whatever I can get. Get him right here behind this barrier. There we go. Now, buddy boy across the way here didn't see a thing. And our little friend here, well, he's just taking a nap, ain't he? All right, let's, uh, I could push up a little bit to give myself more accurate shot placement. Or we could try to push up on him and uh, try to get him by stealth as well. We should have a window here in just a second. Right there, he's turned the other way. Let's see if we can get across here. Yeah, he's still facing the other way. Outstanding. We did it. All right. That lets us close a fair amount of distance. Can we come all the way around behind here? I don't recall if the path goes all the way around or not. Where is he at? There he is right there. Oh, no, I don't think I want to push up just yet. I'll let him turn back around, <clears throat> and then we'll push up on him. Hey, we need to say hello to Head Hunter Telesto. Hunter, what's up, buddy? Welcome in, sir. Good to see you. And have I missed anybody? If I've missed anyone, shit, please uh, give me a shout. Uh, hit me up in the chat there, and I'll give you a little shout out. You don't think close stealth is going to be possible with Ellie? Ah, okay. And it very well may not be. I, <laughs> I honestly don't do a lot of stealth. It's kind of a new thing for me. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> I got cocky there. Oh boy, almost spotted me. Yeah. Walk into it. Oh, and I still missed. And I didn't have my magazine loaded. Oh, that's balls. Shank. Fucking asshole. That's what you get for dodging my bullets. Motherfucking Neo wannabe. <laughs> Uh, well, that could have gone better. Oh, well. All right, so now let's run back and just make sure we didn't miss anything. Go ahead and gear up real quick. <clears throat> Should be some little uh, food, food health packets laying around. Maybe some more supplies that we missed, stuff like that. Oh, I should have used a brick on that asshole. Nope. Yeah, I should have used a brick on that guy. Can we craft anything? Let's take a look at that. Yeah. No. All right. Well, let's go ahead and make one of these so that we're maxed out on Molotovs. That's always good. And let's make another health pack. Yeah. Now let's see what we can get. Nothing else? I don't think there's much in here anyway. Nope. All right. We're done in here. And maybe over here. No, and we got all of the arrows from over here. Okay. Fair enough. Let's check this little shack over here. Ah, oh, rifle rounds. Yeah, we should have we should have used more rifle ammo. Should have used more rifle ammo. Did I say that right? <laughs> Getting tongue-tied and shit. Yeah, rifle ammo. 
All right. Uh, anything over here? Yeah, do some shit down this way. Nothing. Oh, brick. Oh, are we making bets? <laughs> all right, all right. Get your bets in. Get your bets in. <laughs> Oh, shit. Yeah, we need to get Nightbot set up. I really should. Uh, it's one of those things Clara's like, dude, get your Nightbot set up. You're going to love it. And then every time she's streaming, I'm, I'm playing with Nightbot the whole time, <laughs> feeding it cookies and <laughs> doing, the, uh, doing the death counter in it, shit like that. It is cool. I do enjoy it. I need to get it set up on here. All right, we're almost done checking the area. Uh, in fact, I believe we just finished. Yeah, I think we're done here. I love that shot. Look at that. Yeah, right there. Okay, I'll take a moment to catch up with the chat. Actually, let's just leave that in photo mode while we talk. There it is. That's a fucking beautiful shot. All right. Uh, again, have I missed anybody? Um, I don't see any names that I missed saying hello to. Uh Oh, uh, Meister Psycho asking, if someone hit you in the head with something, which one would you rather, uh, a, a glass bottle or a brick? Oh, uh, I mean, honestly, I would. S well, see, the thing is, uh, I used to be a bouncer in a strip club. OK, I was a bouncer in a topless bar for some years, about three years. And uh, I've seen people get hit in the head with glass bottles. Glass bottles do not shatter the way they do in the movies. In real life, beer bottles, liquor bottles, God forbid liquor bottles, they're the worst. They don't shatter the way they do in the movies. They will bust your fucking skull like getting hit in the head with a rock. Uh, it's, I mean, I, sure it is possible they can shatter if you hit the right way, whatever. Yeah, it does happen. Uh, and not that I've seen that many. The club I worked in was actually a pretty clean club. We didn't have a lot of fights there, but yes, I worked as a bouncer in a fucking titty bar for like over three years I've, I've seen a few bar fights i've seen people get hit in the head with glass bottles but glass doesn't shatter like you think it, like it does in the movies man it, it will bust your head like a rock so i guess still it would be less severe than getting hit by a brick uh, I, I think if you're speaking in terms of the minimal amount of injury you might take i'd rather get hit by a glass bottle than getting hit by a brick but you know, if you had a choice of instant death or painful death, I, <laughs> I think I'd rather get hit by the brick, man, because that you won't be in pain for long. <laughs> it's going to knock your ass right out. <laughs> Was my name Dalton? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, the club wasn't quite that rough. It wasn't like Roadhouse rough. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, Kevin. I mean, that's pretty much the trick, man. I mean, with even really with any video game, with most video games, I'll say you learn spawn points. You know, when you play it several times, you learn where the enemies spawn at. Uh, and even in games that are more dynamic, where the enemies have random spawns, you you still kind of learn where to look and when to look when you're, you know, you know, roughly when the enemies are going to spawn in, even if you don't know where they're going to spawn in. So it, it's still having played it any game multiple times. It's. That's how it's done. Basics of pain. What's up, B.O.P.? Welcome in, man. Good to see you, buddy. Oh, yeah, JX2. I'll, I'll tell you that the very first post I ever made on the Days Gone subreddit was how do you do the, the critical strike thing where, you you know, you have the little spinny thing and you have to hit the button at exactly the right time. Uh, yeah, I could not figure out how to fucking do it. I could not figure out exactly what the mechanic was for making it actually work. Uh, and that was my post was like, how is this supposed to work, man? And of course now I get it when the thing is moving in the white area, that's when you hit it. Okay. Gotcha. It's a timing thing. Uh, I still suck at it though. I suck 
at it. I I get that skill. I do purchase the skill so that you have the option of trying to escape that way sometimes. And at least it gives you, even if you fail uh, the critical strike, you, it still gives you a way to get out of the combat grapple, you know. Uh, so it's still useful. But I, I rarely ever actually do it by design. I, I suck at those fucking things. Oh, shit, we need to say hello to Dandy Denny 07. Dandy Denny, what's going on, girl? Howdy. All right, uh, let's go. <clears throat> Nature track. Okay, that should get me out of here. Yeah. Oh, I may, I may miss stuff up here. I do tend to run through this pretty fast. I know there's some collectibles and stuff in this area, which is cool, like the comic books. Uh, Y'all know how I feel about collectibles for the most part. Uh, but the comic books for Ellie, that's that's an entirely different matter. Uh, like when Joel is picking up the comic books for Ellie, that's that's kind of in the game. Like, you can totally roleplay that as, yeah, like, yeah, man, pick up the comic book for the kiddo. That's something Joel would do, you know? I think so, at least. Wait, what's scary? What are we talking about? What did I miss? A full bottle of liquor. <laughs> a full liquor bottle or half a brand. <laughs> okay, yeah. I guess that would make a difference. Yeah, yeah, that's possible. A liquor bottle full of concrete. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you're hoping for an instant painless death, that, that would be your best option, I suppose. There we go. A whiskey bottle does actually shatter. My brother smashed it on my head when I had a helmet on. <laughs> okay, so, well, that's good. It, it shattered on your helmet. Hey. All right. Oh, thank you, baby. Tell, tell Dad I said hi. Uh, Claire just brought me a whiskey. God damn, I love that girl. Mm. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. Fuck, oh, yeah. Yeah, and see, that's that's the thing, though, of hitting a, a human head with, like, hair and skin and meat around it. Oh. Uh, is they generally don't shatter. Uh, but if you're hitting like a hat, like a hard hat or something, you said, what were you wearing? A helmet? Yeah. So it, if it hits a, a hard contact surface, then it, I'm sure it has a higher chance of shattering. But on hair and skin and meat, uh, it's take a pretty hard fucking hit to uh, bust the bottle over somebody's head. Bad enough that it would, it would definitely be a catastrophic, in, a catastrophic injury if someone were to hit you with a bottle hard enough to just shatter it on like on your your bare head oh that's a nasty injury right there here we go <laughs> how about a liquor bottle with a brick inside of it yeah is that like one of those bottles with a boat in it <laughs> how about a bottle with a boat in it <laughs> i don't want to hit i don't want to get hit by one of those either <laughs> Yeah, how the fuck did you get the brick in there, man? I guess like Ryan was saying, you know, I guess you could just pour some cement into it. Uh, <laughs> fill it up with that shit. Oh, God, that's brutal. I've also seen um, somebody get hit in the head with a brick. No, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm talking bricks. Hang on a second. What I'm trying to say, uh, I witnessed someone get hit in the head by a sock with a padlock inside of it. That was a fucking... <laughs> That was a serious fucking head injury right there, man. That was a mess. But, uh, yeah, the a sock, just like a kind of a long tube sock, just like a up to your knee, like tube sock with a fucking padlock in there. Wicked, wicked improvised weapon. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, Jerry, bro, you know what's up. <clears throat> uh, what can we do here? Uh, I could make another one of those. That's probably a smart idea. I can make one of these. That is definitely a smart idea. And I might as well. I mean, shit, why not? We know this coming up bit's going to be interesting. And let's get ready for it, shall we? Only one round in the shotgun. I should probably not have the shotgun up. And let's see. No comment. All right. Cover the 
Oh, we're gonna cover the grounds, all right. Cover the grounds with your fucking head. So. head down you go dead knee and head then they're dead <laughs> that's what i should have said <laughs> this bricks for you <laughs> hey thank you actually i should be using more bricks <laughs> that's a good reminder <clears throat> oh shit 24 watching and only nine likes wait a second hang on hang on uh, folks, if you would, please actually, shit, thanks for being here. I see we've got like 25 watching right now. Hi. Uh, so, yeah, if you would, make sure that you go ahead and hit like on the video now, please. Um, and, yeah, also, of course, make sure you're subscribed, you know, all that fun stuff. But make sure you are on live chat or all messages, whatever it may be on the device you're currently using. YouTube will filter the chat if you're on top chat. So make sure you've uh, toggled that off and switched over to live or all chat so that you can see and participate in all of the chat. That's literally why we're here to fucking hang out and chat. So yeah, uh, make sure you take care of that and like on the video. Uh, yeah, Joe, thanks, buddy. Thank you for putting that in there. Let's go ahead and take a moment to talk about that. Um, let's talk about buymeacoffee.com slash Rex and patreon.com slash Rex and super chats and super thanks and super stickers and and hell all that fun stuff all that kick-ass fun stuff that keeps this channel going and keeps this channel growing i'm telling you man you you <laughs> if you play with it it'll grow all right just keep playing with it and, and we'll see if it grows uh there it is right there buymeacoffee.com slash Rex and patreon.com slash Rex. cool thing about either one of those we have membership set up memberships come at different advantages different tiers different levels uh different perks for joining at different levels uh so that's set up on both of those buy me a coffee on patreon however another cool thing about buy me a coffee is individual contributions just a one-time contribution it's like throwing a little money in the tip jar and man, I'm telling you, that shit adds up and it really does help. It really does help out. So thank you. Let me take a moment while we are doing this. Let's take a moment to say thank you to our channel supporters. These are the members of the Spawnicus Rex channel. Alex Andrew, Dandy Denny 07, Colorful Soldiers, Zylock DNB, Captain Caffeine, Basics of Pain, Borislav 24-7, Sarah Monster, Floyd Rocker, James Guan, Jay Stabby, Catherine Jones, Hani Okashe, Obscured by Ink, Anton G, W.D. Henderson, Tom Moose, Quasimoto, Dog Bone, Tom the Juice Box Jameson, Hack Parachute, DJ Dynamics, Devin Finn, Etherglide, Larry the Liquidator, Marcus Horton, Blue Lion, Mega Man, Stickman, Headhunter Telesto, Brandon Findlay, Squirrel Jr., up recently, Kevin V. Hey, Kev, thanks, man. And last but never least, CJ Voorhees. Thank you, folks. For real. No bullshit from me to you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. All right, man, let's play some fucking video games. <sighs> Let's get that shit off the screen. Hack Parachute. Speak of the devil. There he is. Welcome in. And I believe I missed saying hello to Deke St. J. What's up, Deke St. J? And, oh, no shit. JX2. Well, that's interesting. Um, I mean, all right, so no pressure. Because, like, I understand. Uh, if you would like to contribute, there are different ways. You can perhaps contribute through YouTube itself via a super chat uh there should be an option for that down there where you type into the chat bar there should be an option for super chat down there that works um and then there's also either patreon or buy me a coffee either one um but yeah hey if it if it's not working thank you anyway i i appreciate the thought i really do it is heck, the thought does matter uh so yeah 
<laughs> Kevin liked it twice. <laughs> it's not available in your region. Okay. Well, damn. Well, thanks anyway. Okay, I see another one pushing up over here. And one coming up over here. Here he is. Ah, damn it. You like hiding behind cover, motherfucker? He got all the lucky shot, didn't he? Another one right there? All right. I think there may be one more, but I think that's about it. That's everybody here, right? No, if it's popping up that, there may be another one. I don't see any movement right now, though. I think that's it for this area until we move up into the lodge itself. Yeah, that's everybody. All right, cool. Well, we, let's clear this area and grab the loot. No, man, this guy. Oh, good Lord. Well, I did say, holy shit. I did say uh, I was going to cover the grounds with him. And so he did. Good Lord, man. All right, Ellie, you can heal up now. We're clear. <laughs> I want to see if I can get it uh, with this. Uh, oh, God, look at that fucking mess. She's sitting there healing up, biting off the bandage. <laughs> oh, yuck. I don't think. I, yeah, that's. I think that's about it right there. Maybe a little more sunlight. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> She's got such a ridiculous look on her face, though. Maybe something like this. <laughs> nah. It just kind of looks goofy. I mean, it's like, yeah. Never mind. Oh, shit. Well, goddamn, I guess I need to be checking the chat more often, don't I? Pack parachute. Look at this bad motherfucker. Pack, thank you, brother. For real, man. Thanks. Yeah, folks. So there's super chat. Um, That's a super chat. Uh, I mean, that's a fucking super chat right there. But yeah, <laughs> that's, the, that's the little button down there at the, uh, the bottom of the... Uh, Bottom of the chat bar there. Yeah, what was going through his head? <laughs> a bullet. <laughs> a projectile. Uh, all right, let's get back. Oh, damn. I can't think straight now. <laughs> um, Loot. Let's pick up loot. We need to gear up before we push forward because I know the next bit is uh pretty challenging as well. It can be. Ah, ammo. Nice. I love how they just fling the magazine away. In any video game, when you reload a firearm, they just fling the magazine away like it's just discarded like trash. And like, <laughs> interestingly enough, the magazines would be the most valuable component. Ammo would be easier to find and manufacture than the magazines. Magazines you don't throw away. You reuse those. Anyway. That's my video game rant for today. Or one of them. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, let's go. It's around back, right? Is that where we're going to get in? Yeah, here we go. And now there is... There's a couple of areas here, right? Like if... 
it is possible to miss some loot here, unless I'm mistaken. He can't think straight. Yeah, he lost his mind. Yeah. Well, you know, it's like uh, Ellie and Riley, you know, when they, when uh, Riley got it, when they both got bitten, actually. Uh, what, what were they going to do? Just kind of freak out and lose their minds together? Yeah, Joe, that is fair. That's that's fair. Uh, running from a horde, trying to reload, dropping the magazines. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Store the empty mags in your prison wallet. Or just put them in your man purse. I mean, shit. He's got his little satchel that he keeps with him. <laughs> this is your brain. This is your brain with a bullet through it. <laughs> X-U-S-N-96. Oh, that's cool. I've not played DayZ, but that is a nice little feature. That's a nice touch here. Let me pause this uh, before some infected run up on us or something. Um, yeah, that's interesting uh, that it does. It just kind of automatically goes back to your magazine. No, I'm sorry. It goes back to your inventory. Like, no, we're, we are keeping these. We're hanging on to these. You don't throw these away. Nice. And Captain Caffeine. Welcome in, Cap. How are you, bud? <laughs> Prefer the story of uh, Sarah and Deacon over Ellie and Dina. Yeah. I mean, really, the, the story between Sarah and Deacon really is just a singular story anyway. It's, there's nothing else quite like it in gaming, I think. Uh, it's like Claire always says, Sarah is actually the most well-written female protagonist of any video game that she has ever played. So in Claire's own personal experience, she's not saying that Sarah is the single best female written character ever. She's saying the best character she has ever encountered is Sarah from Days Gone. Um, and folks, this is an official announcement. This is an official announcement for the 8-Bit Terror channel. I'm going to go ahead and put a link to her channel in the chat there. This should be popping up any second now. There it is. 8-Bit uh, Terror, a.k.a. Claire Weaver, a.k.a. host of the Days Gone podcast, has scored another massive fucking get for her podcast if you have not heard it yet we're announcing it now days gone podcast has scored an interview with john garvin that's right days gone podcast has scored an interview with john garvin the writer of days gone she got to talk to literally fucking god of the world of days gone the man who created that world and the interview's already done. She asked him a bunch of excellent fucking questions. She reached out to the community before the interview to gather ideas for the questions. Uh, and, guys, he was a great fucking guest. Uh, he was an excellent guest. He answered a lot of questions about the lore and the backstory and ideas, what ideas were for the sequel moving forward. There's a lot of great info in there. He was a wonderful guest. Um, it's going to be a killer fucking episode. That episode is going to be releasing... Tomorrow, on Days Gone Anniversary Day. That's right. On the anniversary of the release of Days Gone, Days Gone Podcast will be releasing an interview that she did with motherfucking John Garvin, the writer and creator of the world of Days Gone. So there you have it. The announcement's official. Uh, it is what it is. That'll be on pretty much any fucking podcasting platform that you can think of. It'll be available, like, I'm not sure what time tomorrow, but tomorrow. And then it will also be uploaded to her YouTube channel. And I'm going to tell you, folks, this is uh, do us a personal favor, if you would. When you get a chance to uh, sit down and listen to that episode, please do so through her YouTube channel. Uh, the reason for that, the YouTube channel is actually monetized. So if you let a couple of those ads play while you're watching that episode on her YouTube channel, that's actually monetized content for, for her. She'll be doing her a favor with that. Uh, my mic seems awfully quiet. Did I just, there it is. God damn it. Sorry, guys. I hit a button here on the, uh, on the mic processor. There we go. That should be better. We're dialed back in now. Sorry, guys. Yeah, but yeah, no freaking way. Absolutely fucking for real. John Garvin. Days Gone Podcast. Tomorrow. Word. Oh, yeah. I mean, honestly, it was hard to top Sam Whitwer as a guest. It could only be topped well, by the guy who created the world and wrote the story. I don't want to get trapped in here. Lovely. OK. 
Okay. I'll be honest, this area I don't know so well. It's one of those bits where uh, you you actually do tend to feel a bit of pressure here. I kind of move through it pretty quickly sometimes. Yes, there are enemies in this area. Yeah. I think it's what once you once you push forward through the glass doors over there, that that door or pop through that window. I think that's when the rest of the encounter starts. Something like that. Okay, can we make anything? We're full on rags. Ah, well shit yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, we're about to make some more Molotovs. That's gonna happen. Or another Molotov. There we go. Neat. Oh, Cap, thanks for including that link to Claire's channel. That's a working, uh, clickable link there. Takes you straight to the uh, Days Gone podcast, or the, as we call it now, the 8-Bit Terror channel. Uh, her YouTube channel has kind of outgrown the Days Gone podcast, but Days Gone podcast is still a big part of what we do here. Uh, that's something Claire created. That is, a, that is a project she built from the ground up, and it has only grown and grown and grown and just fucking been amazing I, I can't believe the success she's had. well I say I can't believe only in that I'm actually honestly amazed by it um I knew she was gonna get bigger and bigger guests and in time you know especially now that John Garvin has been on there uh once that episode releases now that John Garvin's been on there maybe it will you know draw attention from other people that have worked on the game discovered oh shit James that's right you discovered my channel through Claire's podcast yeah right on <laughs> oh shit jx2 heading out uh, all right well hey thank you for being here we will see you later oh cj yeah you actually followed sam whitwer didn't you yeah just the way the episodes lined up the next guest was uh cj Voorhees. yep all right Okay, so we know this is going to be a pretty challenging bit, but we also know that we can kind of go all out here. There's no reason to be conservative with your resources. Like, at all here, really. I love how far that she can throw these. I mean, that's pretty impressive, really. Where's this guy at? Right there. All right. Now, I'm honestly not so sure about the rest. I don't really like know exactly what to do or where to be type stuff. Okay, there's another one out here. There he is. Oh, God damn it. Motherfucker, the post was in the way. That's not fair. Son of a bitch-ass bastard. All right. Come here, motherfucker. Oh, come on, Ellie. Quit hugging your cover. Step out a little bit. Gotta give yourself an angle. Come on. Dude, this guy's about to piss me off. Asshole. Okay, now I'm just getting sloppy. Fuck this guy. Can we get one out there on him? It's too far. You rat fucking... Pig bastard. All right. We actually aren't. We are going to reset. God damn it. Lost my stride there. I don't want to get trapped in here. There's one restart. Get your bets in, folks. Get your bets in. We're at our first restart of the evening. How high is the number going to go? I don't know. Where's the way out? Not yet. At the corner. There you go. Don't hug your cover. Use your cover, but don't hug it. All 
No more stuff. No more stuff. Okay, let's go. friend come in there he is What was that, Ellie? Ah, uh, god damn it. All right, there's restart number two, guys. Oh, penises. All right. I think I need a sip of whiskey. Yep, restart number two. That's the one. Uh, oh, shit. Where did it start me at? No, 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 no. Start me out in the open, flat-footed like that. What the fuck? Let's go ahead and put another one of these out. There we go. There should be another one. Oh, of course he's going to come around the way we don't have. <laughs> Motherfucker. Anybody else? Is that it? Are we done here? Are you done yet? <laughs> what a fucking mess. Oh my god. Yuck. Alright, let's go. No reason to stick around. I mean, it is cool picking this stuff up, but I, in the next bit, she doesn't have anything, right? She starts with nothing. Let's do it like this. There it is. All right. Let's catch up with chat. Oh, yeah, that's right, CJ. Uh, yeah, Sam mentioning that he had listened to the podcast and, you know, was actually familiar with it and had been listening to it, had been listening to it for a while. Love that shit. Yeah. And it's interesting. Uh, John Garvin mentioned that he had listened to some episodes of the podcast and, uh, you know, I mean, it, it kind of escalates once you get somebody like Sam Whitwer on a podcast like that, it legitimizes the show. It legitimizes the project. And gets other people interested in the project. And it, it fucking worked, man. <laughs> yeah, what are we at now? Two? Uh, two restarts? There may be a couple more, because the next bit is pretty tough. It's a part of the game that does not suit my play style at all. Because it really, really encourages stealth. And, and you benefit from stealth. In these next bits. And it's just not my strong suit. That's not what I'm good at. That's exactly right, Cap. I mean, Sam sharing my video is what got my channel. It's what made my channel go viral. Oh, shit. Like, we know it's coming, but still. God damn. How are you feeling? 
super. Here. You should eat. I know you're hungry. I love that flat time. look she's giving him. Like, really, guy? I, I see you guys over there what chopping up it? bodies. It's deer. Yeah. Some human helping on the side. This part was very well no. done in the TV show as well. No, I, I promise. It's, I thought it's it was. You're a fucking animal. It's awfully quick to judgment. Oh dear. Her friend killed her. <laughs> How many men? They didn't give us a choice. And you think we have a choice? Mm, yeah. Yeah, CJ, for real. You kill to survive. And so do we. We have to take care of our own by any means necessary. So now what? You gonna chop me up into tiny pieces? <laughs> tiny pieces. I'd rather not. Please tell me your name. You're so full of shit. Oh yeah, Arkham City was a great fucking game. Oh, I really Jerry. enjoyed... What was the first one in that series back in the day? It was Arkham Asylum, wasn't it? Uh, I really enjoyed Arkham Asylum, and then Arkham City just built on that now so much. It built so much more on it. It's the only way I'm going to be able to convince the others. I really enjoyed that one. I haven't played that in a long fucking time. But you can come around. You can come around. You're, you're loyal. Mm. And you're special. Yeah, Asylum. That one was fun. Oh. And like I say, Arkham City just built on that. I love how Ellie has that moment where she's like, oh, is that what this is? Come here, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. I love this kid. <laughs> girl you are making it very difficult to keep you alive Where am I supposed yeah to tell just kind of owns now? the role yeah Ellie <laughs> what tell them that it was Ellie that broke your fucking Ellie finger little girl <laughs> broke your fucking finger yeah you tell him what'd you say tiny How did Jesus you call it? Tiny pieces. <laughs> Tiny pieces. See you in the morning, Ellie. Yeah. Yeah, Hunter, they did a good job. They they literally, they conveyed everything that needed to be said to let you know exactly what type of person uh, David is. Tiny pieces. I'm the girl, I'm the little girl that broke your fucking finger. <laughs> Love that kid, man. Ellie. Oh look, a bag full of weapons. How convenient. This looks like fun. Alright, what else do we have in here? Isn't yeah, some revolver ammo. I think I was real close to forgetting that shit on my PlayStation 5 playthrough. Uh one of the folks in the chat gave me the heads up about that one. Thank you. I tried to walk right past it. Do we have access to our inventory yet? Not yet. Okay. Yeah, let's see you in the morning, Ellie. <laughs> yeah. Eight restarts. Oh, damn. Well, we're only at two. I got to do six more to get there. <laughs> Could happen. Honestly, I'm not in any rush to get through this. Um, as far as schedule wise, I've got plenty of time to wrap this up. I think we're only going to have tonight's episode and maybe one more. Now we have access to our inventory. Excellent. All right. Do, we don't have any melee weapon to upgrade right now. We need to reload our pistol, uh, reload the revolver. Let's see what we have up in each slot. I think I actually prefer to keep the shorty in the first slot and then something with more range and accuracy in the second slot, just like here. We have the shotgun in the first slot, something with more range and accuracy in the second slot. And then let's see what we can make. Uh, gotta have one of these. Gotta have another one of these. And if I get a melee weapon, uh, 
we'll make one of those. Oh shit, we need to kind of heal up too. Is there, I don't recall if there are any like health packs in the area. Joel does come out of that basement kind of fucked up, doesn't he? We'll probably need to use a med kit. Let's go ahead and heal up. We know this bit's going to be rough. Might as well. All right. <clears throat> Ah, CJ, that's a great question. Thank you for bringing that up. Uh, what we're going to do, uh, The Last of Us will will most likely wrap up The Last of Us uh, Thursday evening, but then there is still the DLC. We haven't done the uh, Left Behind DLC yet. Uh, so I think the next week we'll do, that should take up at least one evening. I doubt it will take up two. So like Tuesday of the upcoming week, We'll go ahead and do the the Left Behind DLC. And then Thursday, I honestly don't know what we're going to do yet. Um, maybe the more la maybe more Last of Us, maybe some random Days Gone shit, man. I, I honestly don't know. Uh, but let's, uh, let's definitely do the DLC for The Last of Us here, and we'll do something fun that night. Then once we've fully finished up with The Last of Us, we're going to drop The Last of Us and The Witcher 3 and do Red Dead Redemption exclusively until we finish it. Nope, I got to reload the live chat here. Hang on. Uh, again, folks, make sure you're on uh, all messages or live chat or whatever the case may be on the device that you're using. There we go. I vote next Thursday as Days Gone Horde Exterminator. And we very well may do that. But yeah, just so everyone knows, once we are fully done with The Last of Us, uh, we're also going to shut down The Witcher 3 streams. Uh, I fucking love that game, but I'm up to like episode 30 something of it. That's that's a bit excessive for one series, uh, I think. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, which I've had a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of viewer feedback requesting that I play Red Dead Redemption 2. And once I mentioned we were going to be doing it, people went nuts and were like, oh shit, you're actually going to do it? Yeah! So, like, yeah, man, we're going to do it. So that's coming up next. I don't, I honestly don't know what the main story is. Uh, I imagine we'll do very similar to what we've done with other open world games and we'll try to do uh I'll try to get the side missions and stuff like that, just world exploration and side missions. I'll try to get that kind of shit done on my own personal time while I'm just gaming for fun and making videos and stuff. And then uh, on the live streams, we'll do the main story missions. So the live streams will be almost exclusively main story missions with maybe a little, you know, side stuff peppered in here and there. And any side content I do will likely be on my own time. Within reason, you know, I really try not to be too strict about stuff like that. Yeah. Boom, boy. Shit. I've got him. Move up. Got it. See. Well, where nothing you're gonna tell me. Let's get some cover here behind this vehicle. I see you guys. No, I see all three of you actually. Shit, fuck. There's one you. down.
Come on, fellas. Don't be shy. It's all right. Come on in here. 8 bit terror. Hello, ma'am. I guess we'll push up a little. Didn't I see some assholes break off this way? Or did they all fall back? a hatchet right there. Hello, gorgeous. Y'all just gonna stay hunkered down? Alright. There he is. That's no fair. Fucking asshole. Sir, I am trying to kill you. Can you please be still? Oh, man. Oh, that's all me. Fuck it. Give me that axe. Still got a uh, nail bomb over here, I believe. I don't really want to. Actually, that may be what it's showing me there is the nail bomb. Because those do show up in listen mode. Nope, there's an asshole. There we go. <laughs> there's the nail bomb and the asshole. <laughs> there we go. I guess I'll allow it. All right, so what are we up to? We're still only at two restarts, if I recall correctly. And that's everybody here, right? And that's all the assholes? I think we're done. Let's go see if we missed any loot. And we should probably take a moment to catch up with the chat as well. Nothing on these guys. I don't think there's much loot around here, is there? There's not many pickup items in this area, if I recall correctly. Just maybe this house here. There's a corpse over here I didn't get to loot. Nothing in the front. Okay. 
Come on, Joel. I know you can leap over that. Can't you? Never mind. The assholes can come over the fence. Why can't we? Joel smarter. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. All right, let's grab some loot and take a moment to catch up with the chat. Howdy. What's going on, everybody? Hey, did I miss, uh, did I miss saying hi to anyone? No, we good? <laughs> the show. I know, Hunter, I've always thought that was interesting. It only takes him a few minutes of being up, moving around. He's like, yeah, I'm good. Let's go kill some guys. Let's go fuck some shit up. Yeah, he is on a mission and focused. Okay. Good, 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 good. What can we do? What can we do? Should make one of these, definitely. Oh, yeah, Get him still. Get oh, shit. Yeah, who's got who here? Oh, uh, yeah, I believe we're still at two restarts for now. <laughs> Marcus! Welcome in, man. Glad you could be here. You wait here. <laughs> you wait here. Now, the girl, is she alive? What girl? I don't know no girl. <laughs> Fuck! Focus right here, right here. And I'll pop your goddamn knee off. The girl. Uh, she's alive. David's newest pet. Where? In the town. In the town. Now you're gonna mark it on the map. And it better be at the same exact spot your buddy points to. Mark it. It's right there. You can verify it. Go ask him. Go on. I tell you. I ain't lying. Fuck you, man. He told you what you wanted. I yeah, you which shit. means he's useless now. And so right. are you. I believe him. No, wait! Mm. Yeah. Wakey, wakey. So I wonder what the sound guys hit to make that sound. What did they do to make that fucking noise, man? Probably hit a watermelon, yeah. <laughs> I warned you. I'm infected! I'm infected! Really? So are you. Mm -hmm. They hit a cantaloupe. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> A pig skull? Yeah, that's very possible. Everything happens for a reason, right? I'll play along. Like, what the hell is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, what yeah. It now? It can't be real. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Real He's me. still hoping to uh, get some alone time with her. A pig skull with a 2x4? Or a pig skull with a lead pipe, yeah. Probably do it. Alright, folks, here we go. <laughs> That's what Ellie's saying. All right, here we go. <laughs> Bye, bitches. Oh my God. What the fuck is wrong with these people? They're assholes. Where you going, Ellie? It's my town. Uh, uh, fuck. It's locked. Hey, 
I need a gun. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you can. Probably. Maybe? Probably. We heard gunshots. Infected. What? The girl. She's infected and she got out. This is bad, David. Of everyone who isn't armed to get him clear out of here. We'll go find that girl. Kill her. Oh my god. I'll take the kids to the shelter. Go. Oh, fuck. I'm tired of this shit. Cross the line this time. I've been saying this for months. We could tell him enough. This girl killed our men. Now she's infected. Let's clean this mess up, then we can have a town meeting. Put his leadership up to a vote. Nah, I didn't see shit. Alright. Okay, he's outside the building this way. This one is outside the building this way. He'll likely be jumping in through this window. Does he? Come on, girl, move. Ah! Now we're cornered. We're fucked. <laughs> what do you think Should have gone through a brick. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We're going to have to get out of here quick. Time to go. Shit, shit, shit. We're going to die. All right, here's that next restart. There's restart number three. Fucking hell. I, I'm really not very good at this part. Stealth is not my thing. Nah, 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 nah. It's not that bad. It's not that serious. Not my thing. I'm better with shotguns than I am with patience. I'm not real good with shotguns. Oh, 
Okay, I need that. Out, I guess you she just going, doesn't huh? do that attack. You have to throw the brick when you're playing as Ellie. Hey, yeah, we broke contact. Out. That's a start, at least. <laughs> Patience. <laughs> Shit, hack. Why you gotta put me on the spot like that, man? I'd have to restart to stealth it now. <laughs> that would count as another restart. There he goes. He's going that way. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know where I am, but now I know where you are, too. I did. Where are you at? Shit. <laughs> Just that one. Okay. Can I walk around and pick up some loot? Huh, neat. All right, let's catch up with Chad. Man, it's fucking hot in here. Good lord, man. Yeah, I know. Oh, that Lorraine sounds so lovely. I took the uh, headphones off to wipe the sweat off of my brow because it's fucking hot in here. Uh, there we go. I'm also wearing uh, blue jeans and a thermal undershirt, so I'm fucking cold all the time. Hmm. But damn, that rain sounds beautiful. Babe, do we have the whiskey in here? On the top of the whiskey? Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, love. Jeremy says, take it off, take it off. <laughs> and I just might, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, how do we define stealth here? Do we do we define that as like literally ghosting through the area and no one ever sees us? Or, or do we define that as killing everything quietly? I, like, I honestly don't know the meaning of stealth. Kill like, everything quietly. Kill everything quietly, that's stealth. Oh, okay, well, give me a sniper rifle with a silencer and we'll get it done. That's sniping, that's not the same thing. Yeah, it is. I stealth mean, if you... Is Stealth is up close, knifing people in the neck. Oh, is that what that is? I don't like it. Told you you should have let me play. <laughs> <laughs> so, what am I seeing back here that... There's a bit back here that there's something in the way when we get in there at all. You can't get back here, can you? Yeah, yeah, that's where we came in at. Yeah, how the hell do you... Maybe it... Oh, yeah, once you get through there, you can't go back that way. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Not much loot here. It's kind of not worth killing these guys. <laughs> Claire's having to giggle at me. No, I was laughing at CJ. Oh, yeah. What's what's in the chat? Strippicus Rex. Strippicus Rex. <laughs> Take it off, baby. Oh, damn it. I'm hot, not hot and bothered. Oh, 
Hey, we need to say hello to Lance. What's up, Lance? Welcome in, man. Uh, I think we're headed this way now. Okay. I think we're back in the action now. It will be shortly. Claire's over here saying stealth. I'm like, I literally don't know how. You can do this bit in stealth? Is it... I mean, and again, is it... You just sneak past them or you actually no, get no, kills and stuff? I didn't even know Ellie could hold a gun. Like, hmm. I don't use anything. No. Mm. <laughs> but that's me. Yeah. shanky spot. Oh, god damn it. See, this is what happens when you try to stealth people. You get spotted anyway, and then you just have to go into open combat anyway. I should have just led with the revolver. We'd already be done here. stealth, right? He didn't have a chance to get a shot off. Does, does that count? Welcome in, man. What's going on? Happy Days Gone anniversary tomorrow. Uh, let's uh, let's go over the events a little bit, shall we? I know a whole bunch of folks are going to be streaming tomorrow. I know Joey Image, you're going to be streaming some Days Gone tomorrow. Is that right? Uh, who else do we know? Claire is going to be streaming Days Gone in the morning tomorrow. Uh, oh, I'm going to be streaming it? Uh, yeah. I am? What time? Oh, I thought we were... Oh, well, yeah, I guess we could do that instead of The Witcher. Yeah. <laughs> Did I? Yes. I have no memory of that. I mean, okay, it sounds reasonable. I have no memory of that. But it sounds reasonable. We should probably do that. It's Days Gone Day. I'll play some Days Gone tomorrow instead of The Witcher 3. Ah, what would we get? Nice. Bit of revolver ammo. That's a lovely thing. Oh, is there something over there? Ah, just a bottle. Okay. Yeah, that's about it. Sometimes. What is the question? Relax, I'm not fighting anybody. I'm saying we can have a real situation here. We already have a situation. We're gonna take care of it. Stay focused, let's find her. Anything. Nothing here either. Keep searching. Oh, yeah. Claire, you might like something like that. Come on, you fucking asshole. 
There he is. Fucker. Not. Yeah, I think another one you should take a look at is um, Styx, Master of Shadows. I think you have a lot of fun with that one. Oh. Where to go? Exactly. I think it's forward in this way. take a look and catch up with the chat shall we kind of focused on this bit here um so <laughs> claire going nuts about my play style in this area it's taking every fiber of my being to not snatch the controller away from him and take over oh it's not that bad it's not that serious <laughs> or is it <laughs> she's giving me that look i think it is actually that serious no oh, it's like trying to teach somebody to drive a car <laughs> I'm stealing the mic for a second. It's like trying to teach someone how to drive a car who has no interest in driving a car and just wants to run over everything. <laughs> the, their only experience driving a car is playing Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, yeah, yeah, Ryan. I, I actually think she would enjoy that one. It's one of those things that is right up her alley with all the stealth. Up the what? <laughs> exactly. Where I go? There he is. Where are they? Is it just that one? There he is. I see him now. There. Does that satisfy some of y'all? Isn't there like a med kit laying around somewhere? Yeah, here we go. Any supplies we can pick up around here? Be cool if we could like set bombs and stuff for this asshole. Oh, another med kit. Nice. Yeah, it would be nice being able to uh, set down some fucking nail bombs and stuff. <laughs> Throw a couple of Molotovs. Wait a minute, what is that? <laughs> Neat. Anyway. All right, here we go. Let's catch up with the chat first.
<laughs> My idea of stealth is using a revolver. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. The cat is earning his keep. Oh, yeah? Zay is killing spiders. Hmm. I like spiders. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. I was going to say something. What was it? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, actually, uh, my, my idea of stealth actually is um, using a suppressed sniper rifle from like a mile away. That's stealth. And then the revolver. And then the revolver if anybody gets close, yeah. <laughs> oh. How did you do it? Oh, we actually don't know. That's all right. No stealth. Nowhere to go. Oh, you, you want out? Yeah, the bite. And he's asking, you know, how did you survive the bite? Well, it's uh, we actually we don't know. I know you're not infected. No one sort that's of. infected fights this hard to stay alive. I gotta get those keys. So what is it, Ellie? I gotta admit, had me back there for a second. <laughs> nope. Okay, that's a restart. <laughs> that was supposed to work. That's restart number three. Is what it is. No one that's infected fights this hard to mm, stay alive. I think that's only number three. I gotta get those keys. So what is it, Ellie? I gotta admit, you had me back there. For a second, you shook my faith. <laughs> Your faith. But only for a second. Oh, hey, Ellie. Yeah. And I'm sorry about your horse. Mm -hmm. I truly am. You get me another one, you gonna give me a pony? That won't waste any part of it. Is that how we play this? You know I You know I I don't give a shit. Honestly. That was good, kid. I know. I got more of that shit too. I got a gang of that shit. You know, you keep surprising me. I intend to. Well, I'll come around. I'll come you? around the back here. Ruin your fucking day here in a minute. You give up now and you promise to be quick. Yeah. Promise. You probably are about a minute, man, aren't you? Fuck yourself. <laughs> I bet you would be quick. Okay, then. Don't say I didn't give you a chance. You know, I love how you think that you're better than this. Better than us. But you're not. <laughs> you better than that, motherfucker. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, damn. Yeah, she doesn't have any options when he catches her flat footed. All right. I believe we do have a checkpoint, though. Uh, it seems like this one is pretty good about giving you checkpoints. But now we don't know where he is. Because when you start with that checkpoint, you have to locate him again. Yeah. You reckon? Mm, yeah, yeah, I did like using that pillar. That was nice. Too many, uh, too many openings and glass. I want to bring him this way. That was somewhat intentional. I know he'll come to investigate that. And I have my back to a wall now. 
corner at least. There he is. Trying to be clever again. <laughs> There at the corner. He hasn't moved. Hey, asshole. Come here. Motherfucker. Yep, he knew it was a trick. <laughs> I do love the AI for this bit. Challenging, but satisfying. we get to have some fun okay we're still full up on everything let's do it Joel, come on now, boy. You got an asshole standing right in front of you. Throw the brick at him, please. Now we just wasted our fucking brick. see him. Maybe? Maybe you aren't about to see him. Yep, you're about to see him. And it's the last thing you see. Whoa! <laughs> Grading on the Rex curve. I'll take it. <laughs> Holy shit, Hack. Thank you, brother. Oh, damn, dude. There you go, man. Lead by example. That's what I'm talking about. Where's that sunbitch at? Uh, I know we got movement. I hear movement there. All right, gotcha. I see you now. Joel, can I get you to lean out like that? And then... Thank you. Yeah, thanks for losing that shot for me, dog. Might as well just pull him back. mom's house. Oh, Joey, you heading out? All right, man. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow afternoon. 
Joey's gonna be uh, playing some Days Gone tomorrow for Days Gone Day. Let's go ahead and pull this guy out of this doorway. I'm gonna take him out. Oh, and shotgun ammo. That's a beautiful thing. Aw, 8-bit terror stealth participation trophy. <laughs> I did kill, like, you know what, one or two enemies in stealth? <laughs> yeah, folks, I'll tell you what. Uh, you know, we, we love the big contributions. That's the kind of stuff that keeps this channel going, man. But even the little $2 contributions, a buck, two bucks, five bucks, that stuff adds up. And you better believe I do appreciate that as well. Don't feel bad if you can't do things like $50 contributions or $20 contributions. Don't feel bad if you can't do that stuff. Man, I don't, I don't sweat that kind of stuff. Seriously. I really don't. I just appreciate everything, honestly. Hey, that should have been a headshot. Motherfucker. It didn't even knock his hat off, man. That should have been a headshot. What are you giggling at? <laughs> Alright, I think that's all of them. For, for right now. We got a shift door back here. What do we have? Hey! Let me make sure I get this right. Spider-Man Gamer 972. Hey, Spider-Man. What's going on? Yeah, Ryan, that headshot was BS, man. That should have made it. That should have been a fucking hit, man. Anyway, folks, here's the shiv door for this area. Make sure you get all of these. <laughs> Restart, no. <laughs> Not for one missed headshot at the end of the bit there. <laughs> oh, and we have a training manual here as well. What do we have? Ah, oh, smoke screens. Okay. Mm, all right. It lasts longer. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. I didn't want to open that. I wanted to open the crafting menu. I'm go ahead and... Oh, shit, I can't make another ship right now. Oh, well. It'd be all right. <laughs> I love that they added that. I remember running around while I was playing The Last of Us 2, just... Hulk smash! <laughs> Just fuck. I see that. Yeah, I have a. Oh yeah. Yeah, mine's upgraded. Okay. Yeah, yeah, mine's been upgraded recently. So that's a good find. It kind of makes me wish I had used my uh, melee. Uh, makes me wish I had used my axe more. Oh. Well. And my axe. <laughs> well, I think that's about everything. Is there another brick? <laughs> I actually could use a brick or a bottle or something. None of them? Really? That's bollocks. <laughs> As a headhunter, I can confirm that yes, that was a headshot. <laughs> See, the headhunter is on our side. <laughs> All right. Headshot. Come on, where'd you go? No, 
no, no, no, no. Give me shotgun. Give me shotgun. Shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. Give me shotgun. Thank you. <laughs> the, the sluggish controls do bother me a bit sometimes, but I realize it's not meant to be that type of game. It's not meant to be one of those lightning fast twitch response kind of games. I get it. It's not intended to be that type of experience. It's still a little frustrating sometimes. Any bricks or bottles nearby? Nothing? Nothing? Really? Nothing? Finish him. <laughs> I do love that shotgun butt to the face finishing move. Alright, let's go. I don't guess there's much more to pick up here. Especially after getting the training manual. I don't think there is anything important here. Shiv Dorn training manual, that's about it. forward. What is this? Where the hell is all this stuff here? Oh, God damn. Oh, Christ. So anyway, any loot in here? Okay. Hmm. Yeah. There's a there's a bone saw. That's. Oh, and look, kitchen knives too, and meat hooks. And, well, that's nice. That that that's a lot of fun right there. I gotta find her. I gotta find her. Yeah, you fucking do. Maybe you should walk a little faster. Right, nothing to pick up. Nothing at all in here. All right, let's go. Ah, I think I failed to say hello to Digital really? Degenerate. DD, I remember seeing your name pop up earlier. Hi, welcome in. Thanks for being here. Sorry I missed you earlier. Yeah, Hunter, I agree. This is the part where Joel realizes that he does actually care. I think he has cared for a while. This is the part where he... Oh, shit, we gotta go. We gotta move. I keep forgetting there's a interaction, interactive bit here. I had to sit my water bottle down. I was about to try and take a sip of water. Anyway, um, I think Joel has cared for some time, but has been afraid to admit it. And wouldn't admit it to himself. I knew you had heart. You know, it's okay to give up. Ain't no shame in it. <laughs> it's the little touches that make it homey. <laughs> I guess not. Just not your style, is it? Nope. As you're about to find out, you're about to meet the man that trained her to fight that hard. You think you know me? I know you're capable of bleeding. And die. Stop! Stop! Fucking touch me! Look, it's me! It's me! It's me! Look, look! It's me! I got you, baby girl. I got you. <laughs> yeah, why should she stop? Yeah, mostly just because the place is on fire. <laughs> That's pretty much it, yeah. All right, CJ, excellent timing. We're about to shut it down anyway. I wanted to make sure we get through that bit right there and uh, are able to start here uh, in the next episode. So we'll go ahead and get through here, I guess, get to a nice little cut scene, cut scene and uh, go from there. Yeah, <laughs> fuck David. Allie. Fuck you, David. 
Did you hear me? No. What? Look. Hospital. This is where we get off. Let's go, kiddo. <laughs> you feel that breeze, huh? I tell you, on a day All like right. this, I just... I think we've got a porch, checkpoint here. Pick away my I think we need a... Uh... You know, once we're done with this whole thing... I think... Yeah, photo mode shot too, don't we? No, nope, other way. There we go. That's better. No. No. Now take a picture. No. <laughs> anyway. All right. So check it out, man. Uh, that's going to be it for tonight. Tomorrow is going to be Days Gone Day. It is the anniversary of Days Gone, which means there's going to be a shitload of Days Gone content coming out. Uh, Claire is going to be live streaming Days Gone. Uh, I am going to be live streaming Days Gone. Uh, Joey Image is going to be live streaming Days Gone. Who else do we know for sure is streaming? That's it. So for streaming, it's going to be Claire, Joey Image, and then myself. Uh, we also have folks in the community dropping content. I believe Obscured by Ink is going to be dropping some videos on that channel. Uh, do we know of anyone else that we want to that we're it's able unanimous. to announce? It's Unanimous is going to be putting out some content for Days Gone Com or I'm sorry, Days Gone Anniversary. Uh, the Days Gone podcast will be putting out the interview with John Motherfucking Garvin, so that's pretty big. That's going to be coming out. Um, when is that going to be releasing on your channel? Um, on my channel tomorrow morning, I could process it. First. Okay, because that's I've advised everyone, if possible, if you're able to, when you get a chance to watch that episode of the podcast, if you would please watch that uh, episode through the 8-Bit Terror channel on YouTube. That's monetized for her, so that's actually monetized views for her. Uh, so if if you don't mind, direct most of the traffic to the to the uh, YouTube channel rather than like podcasting apps and stuff. Anyway, uh, that's us for now. Claire will be back on tomorrow morning, uh, 8 a.m. Mountain Time with Days Gone. Uh, the full schedule of events that we know of is going to be available on the Days Gone subreddit. So if you want to see uh, whatever fans are putting out for the anniversary of Days Gone, hop over to the Days Gone subreddit and check it out there. Also, you can check out our Discord. Uh, a lot of Days Gone nerds on our Discord there. Uh, yeah, that's everything I got, man. Uh, I'll be on tomorrow evening, Saturday, uh, 7 p.m. Tomorrow evening, 7 p.m. That other fucking S word, 7 p.m. Mountain time. Mountain time. Yeah, tomorrow night. All right, man, I'm out of here. Love you guys. Y'all have fun. See you next time.